Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Xenoblade Chronicles. Last time, we finished up everything there was to do in Bionis Leg. As you can see, the leg is behind us now. <laughs> we also got here to Colony 6 and learned from Charlotte that the best way to get into the colony undetected would be to take the ether mines just over there. This time, we're going to be heading down into those very mines, but first, there's a few things over here. I already went over this merchant last time. There was also this gate, which apparently I can check. It is closed tightly. Good thing I remember to check that. We would have missing out on some really valuable information that I neglected to show last time. I know, how could I? But, um, in all seriousness, we got Daza right here, which we can barely see behind Ryan's gigantic body. Daza in big trouble. If Daza not have that thing, then it's really bad. So he is a quest giver. And, oh, hello there. Friends came to listen to Daza. Some hawks is still Daza's proof of Nopon merchant status. I don't know why you guys all assume that we are your friends instantly. And also, I didn't know there was such strict protocol with nop on trading and it doesn't seem that bad considering that his friend is right over there trading anyway friends must get it back for daza can friends do that for me how could you let them steal the proof of your merchant status daza only look away for a second and they steal it they want it because it's shiny well shiny you say okay i like hanging on to shiny things even if just for a little while so you know what i will help you we got proof of status we got to find a nop on coin and colony six is splintered path which lucky for us that is where we're heading anyway since it's on the way to the ether mine, he said he's going to give us a good reward, and since I could see that reward in the quest window, I know it's a pretty good reward. That's not a terrible gem. Uh, now, as we're walking around, uh, I did switch up- wait, 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 what? Dober Corgi. We are stuffing dogs into our pockets. Not only that, but these dogs are motionless on the field. And we are- serious anemone. Uh, don't want anemone stink- okay. We are putting dogs into our pockets in the same pocket that we are storing anemones and fire tarantulas in. If that isn't cruel, I don't know what is. But the other thing is the fact that it's represented by a little ball on the field and we're stuffing it into our pocket. Apparently, Pokeballs really exist in this universe. That's all I can think of. <laughs> but we have lots of item orbs just all over the place. We got a pyro lizard there that, again, doesn't sound like the best thing to be stuffing into our pockets with a dog. Either way, we got this uh, elevator right here. Let's go ahead and activate it. And wow, Shulk almost got... The door closed on him there. The yeah, it's not really the best when it comes to elevators. Don't be surprised if they screw up and apparently he feels the need to just stand in the corner there because he almost missed it. And we're down here on the splintered path. This is where we were told that that Nopon coin would be. And as luck would have it, like I said, it is on our way. Now, I've switched to playing as Ryan here just because it's been a while since we played as anyone other than Sharla, and Shulk and Ryan both have new arts that I want to show off, which hopefully I'll get a chance to do that soon ish. I don't know if I will. But, uh, if you're at all curious, uh, there's item orbs over that- Whoa! Uh, well! You showed up right on cue! Hey there, buddy! Okay, Sky Rogel. Let's attack a little bit, and Ryan's new art, I almost said Shulk's, is Last Stand. That is an ether aura that makes it so that if Ryan is about to become incapacitated, he will instead restore a bunch of HP. Think like Second Wind in Kingdom Hearts. So it's a good art. Makes Ryan a lot more survival than he would be otherwise, and that's saying a lot with how much HP and defense he has, but it's not useful in all situations. I might not have it equipped all the time because of that. The thing is, <laughs> sorry, just Ryan's quotes, I know I've heard it before, but sorry. Um, the bad things about Last Stand are that you can waste it. If you use it too soon and you're not hit by an attack that would have killed you, of course, it's not going to stay in effect forever. The other problem with it is, is that we have Shulk and Sharla able to heal Ryan. And if they just heal him right after he uses it, he might as well have not had it equipped at all. And of course, if you're much higher level than the enemies like I am right here, it's not useful at all because you're frankly never going to be hurt that badly. Just remember that it's not useful in all situations. It's one of those arts that you might want to equip before a tough battle, especially if you're under leveled for it. But it's not useful in enough situations to be one of your main arts that you always have equipped to Ryan. It's just kind of a nice thing to have and it's worth thinking about if you're having trouble with a specific fight. And uh, this splintered path though, man, just look at it. You can see just how far down that goes. You can see the fact that there's very little below us right now. It's just like a really narrow pathway, and it just kind of further cements just how imaginative this world is. I mean, not just the fact that we're on the body of Titans, though, but how they use that to their advantage to give us some really cool visuals. I like it a lot. Back on track, we got that Nop on coin that Daza asked us to find. Do we want to go back up to him now? Actually, no. Thing is, we have not found a single landmark that we can skip travel to down here on the splintered path yet, and it would be really inconvenient to kind of lose our place, so I suggest we walk up to that cave entrance as it's the only one in the area. Plus, that is not the only quest that Daza has for us. There are other quests that he's going to be giving us after this point, point. I just want to be upfront with you about it because 
Yeah, it really sucks if you warp back up there and then you suddenly realize that you can't come back down here easily. So we're on this very narrow, rickety-looking path. Yeah, this isn't dangerous at all. It's got guardrails on the side, and we're at the drainage outlet. As you can see, it counts as a landmark, and now we're going to skip travel back over to Daza. Yeah. Hey there, I got your Nopon coin. Do you want it? I guess you're green with envy in that case. Daza knew he was right to ask friends. Thank you so, 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 so much. Well, that's that. Looks like it got sorted. Daza give you thank you present for getting proof back. Daza so happy he cannot speak. Thank you so much, friends. We got a Break 2 gem. That makes it so that your auto attack has a small chance of inflicting Break. Definitely nice if you want to inflict Topple more often than not, which of course you do. We only got one Topple art at the moment, so it's not overly useful to us right now, but it will be later on. And Daza has yet another quest for us, like I said he would. Listen to Daza, friends, friends. Ryan, when you had your arm up, I could see his face. Now I can't. Daza think Monster might steal proof of merchant status again. We gave it to you like four seconds ago. We were even watching you in those four seconds. How did you manage to lose it that quickly? And Shulk is saying what's worse, this or arguing with me. You know what? I can't decide which one is more of a pain, so let's get the sword. Apparently Shulk is too smart for him in arguments. Daza want friends to make this place safe for Daza. Oh, never mind. He didn't lose it. He's just really insecure, but still... He wants us to kill these monsters. Yeah, what's stopping you from doing it? Daza not strong. Friends strong. Friends can do. Don't think that flattering us is going to make us say yes. Daza give you really, really, really good thank you present. So friends help not on merchants like Daza. Apparently he couldn't say no to that. We got two pieces of equipment at stake here, and there are multiple objectives in the quest log. There are several enemies that we need to hunt down there on the splintered path. That's a spirit, Ryan. And does Shulk and Ryan really need more affinity between each other? Ooh, unshakable trust. Uh, speaking of, do Shulk and Ryan need more affinity with each other? Let's check that. Sure enough, Shulk and Ryan are the first pair in the group to reach white affinity. That is second from the top. So the two of them will be able to equip four skills between them, and Charla still hasn't gained much with the others. I kind of wish that I could play a Charla a little bit more to make it easier, though. But there are simple ways to gain affinity. In fact, there is one that I could technically go over right now. But I do want to save it for a little bit, just because, you know, it's kind of better later than sooner, I guess. I don't know how I'm really wanting to say that. Just trust me on this. But uh, let's skip travel back there and down there to the drainage outlet, and let's take care of those monsters. First off, pretty close to the drainage pipe, as well as where we found that Nopon coin, there are the soft hawks that we need to hunt. So I'm going to go over Shulk's new art right here and now, just because we're going to be battling an enemy anyway. Okay. Shaker Edge makes it so that he can inflict daze, so we finally have a new dazing art. There we go. Hi, I'm Daisy. <laughs> it just sounded weird saying dazing. We need to hunt a whopping six of these things, so that's going to take a little while. And actually, right next to it is the next enemy we need to hunt, the yellow antols. So there's another one for you. There's also some red antols in this area, so be sure to check them before you initiate a battle with them just so that you're not attacking the wrong ones. You need to hunt four of these, so apparently they are not being very forgiving with the number of enemies you got to hunt. And, well, I don't really know if they need to be forgiving. We are having a very easy time with this. I'm, oh, I didn't get in the daze there. Yeah. Man, what a Shit. bunch of jokers. <laughs> okay, I love that one. I don't think we've had that quote yet, and if we did, I think I was talking over it, but... I love it when he wins battles, and it's just like, Man, what a bunch of jokes. <laughs> just... <laughs> Being honest with you, I know that Ryan Time is the more uh, iconic of his quotes, but... <laughs> Man, what a bunch of jokers, actually. I'm, I'm, I'm halfway certain that I like that one a little bit more. So yes, I'm glad I'm getting to show off more of Ryan's quotes, because it was... As much as I love Ryan time, I was kind of sad that that was really the only one I was getting to show off. Hardhawks, Softhawks. Did you really have to specify that game? So let me guess. You got the four yellow antals, you got the six soft hawks, this might have taken a little while, but you did it. But you can't find the water upas for the life of you. Don't worry, we're here for you. They only appear during rain and or thunderstorms. So you need to have the weather just right before you can find them. And yes, it took me an absolute eternity to get the weather to change. Oh my god, I've been here forever. But yes, the quest log will tell you little things like that. So if you're having trouble figuring out what to do in the quest, go check the log. It might tell you some nice things. Daza, my man, what's up? Heroes come back. Now Daza can work in safety. Oh, well, I guess that'll be the case till I come out of this map and go back into it, because once I do that, all the monsters will respawn. Don't listen to that part. Aww. Getting sidetracked to just Ryan and Charlotte's conversation there. I can't help it. If Daza ever in trouble again, he asks for friends for help. Daza, no, he can count on you. We've completed safety first. We have Pelt Pelotums and Pelt Top. 
Sounds interesting. And, wow, everyone got a level up. Awesome. But Daza has yet another quest for us. Daza in really big trouble. Friends just in time. Friends can listen to Daza. Daza need to send letter to Garugu on Bionis Leg. But Daza cannot decide who could deliver letter. Wait a minute. You're asking me to deliver mail for you. I am the real superhero of the... Bionisian people. I don't know, but... I was trying to do a thing there because I always like say that I respect the postman and all that, which I do in real life. I'm not even joking about that, but... Yeah, it's a top secret letter only Garugu can read. A top secret document. Are you sure you want to ask us to deliver it? Surely there must be someone more trustworthy. Does I trust you friends more than anybody in the whole wide world? Wow. Say that really close to your uh, Nopon merchant friend right over there. Glad to hear that, but... No time to stand around chit-chatting. Or just chatting, really. So we have a question mark, question mark, question mark reward. My favorite kind. We have to take this to Garugu and buy us leg, which we can just, you know, skip travel right over there, so this won't really take us too far out of our way. And wow, I uh, Ryan Admire Spirit, we have to be careful. Oh yeah, I totally agree. I'll leave that stuff to you. <laughs> I'll leave being careful to you. That is actually pretty cool. Oh, and I got an achievement, idle chit chat. Garugu! Just saw you not all that long ago. Yes, we have a letter for you. You wait here for Garugu. Garugu give you a reply. You cannot lose Garugu's letter. It's really, really bad if you lose it. Thank you for helping Garugu. And this seems shady to any of you. I know it does to me. We delivered your letter. Oh, Garugu sent reply for Daza. Thank you, friends. Daza interested in red things. Daza asked Garugu to investigate some things. But Garugu not find conclusive evidence, so he's still working. Thank you for helping Daza. Well, that's that. Yes, uh, he said that he wanted something red. And they were doing some kind of dealing with top secret data. You're going to want to remember that for later. Uh, our reward is actually that very top secret data he was talking about, as well as Slow 3. Uh, what does Slow do? Well, that makes it so that your regular attack has an... Uh, whoa, we got an achievement for that. That makes it so that your uh, auto attacks have a chance of inflicting Slow, which makes it so that auto attacks will go off less often. Anyway, Constellation. That achievement means that we were able to get a certain number of people together on the affinity chart, I believe, but that does it. That is every quest in this area. Do we want to move on? Well, there's nothing else for us to do here, um, but there is one cool little thing that I want to show, and it kind of has to stop raining before I can. Well, first off, this is a very risky jump, but I wanted to show you that there are wind ether crystals over here in a deposit, should you want to get some crystals. if you know, for whatever reason, if you want to get more gems or just want something to sell, really. You really shouldn't sell these. I almost never do. I usually hang on to them unless I'm, like, out of inventory space. But the really cool thing that I wanted to show, you have to be in just the right spot to do this, and I'm certain that a lot of people aren't aware of this. You can see the Bionis Lake from right over here, of course. You know, you can see, you know, a bit of a faint silhouette of it. It's right over there. So you can see another area from this area, and I've praised this before in other games, saying that I really like it when you can do that, like in Super Mario Sunshine. Well, believe it or not, you can see another area from Colony 6. Look down there. That down there is Colony 9. That is how far we have come. Yeah, that should put things into perspective, but yes. I, for a long time, didn't know that you could see Colony 9 from any other areas in the Bionis, but no, it is down there. You guys want to go visit? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> But yes, that is just a testament to how far we have really come. Colony 9 is that tiny to us now. Ugh, it's just... Clouds are blocking it out, unfortunately. Oh, well. I guess it's nice and shady down there. Hopefully they're enjoying it. And next up is the Colony 6 Collectopedia. It is only eight items. It'd be kind of funny if it was six items, but it's not. No, it is eight. You can very easily complete this right here, right now, without any trade. So be sure to do this so you can get some nice equipment. Because right there, 100%. You can trade for these items later on, but it's not available to us, so I won't be noting trades right now. But really, you should have no trouble at all getting these whole eight items that make up this Collectopedia. But yeah, we are here at the uh, drainage pipe. And uh, in this time, I would like to show off the amazing AI. Just, I have yet to really go into how the AI works or anything that I have for it or against it, though. But look at this. That water current is carrying them. Uh, guys, you might want to move. You might want to... Well, don't say I didn't warn you. Yep, look how far down they are. They are just, yeah, they respawn. Uh, well, uh, do you want to see something kind of funny? It is entirely possible to get them stuck in a loop so they respawn in the water and don't move as long as you're not moving. 
He will keep going off of this waterfall over and over again on his own accord until I manually go out of my way to stop him. Yeah, that is pretty freaking hilarious. So needless to say, when it comes to moving around the field, they aren't the brightest. All right, Charlotte, let's go off without him. Let's finally go into the ether mines through the drainage pipe. I ah, caught up. Here we are in the drainage tunnel, and that bright, cheery music is soon going to stop as we're going through this really murky water. There's a colony oopa here, not the same thing as the water oopa, so you can't go in here to hunt these anytime you want. It outright does have to be raining outside if you want to hunt those oopas. So, uh, wow, um... I made a really, really good move there. Uh, you guys didn't have to run all the way down here. I'm sure I would have run back up eventually. <laughs> uh, shoot. Uh, how do I want to go about this? There's an item over there that I want, but how to get? Oh, I'm an idiot. There's a pipe right here, and I can just... No, I can't. Uh, how do you get up there? Stupid me was right in front of me when I walked in. You can hop up on that pipe, which then lets you hop onto these. You can then walk up this slope of pipes and then just jump on over. There we go. First item orb in the ether mine, a light bat, as opposed to a dark bat? I don't know. I, I don't really understand it. I guess maybe it can, it's uh, diurnal and not nocturnal. That's all I can really think of. We got the drainage control room right here, and we have some Nopon merchants. This mine very complicated. It's so easy to get lost, but you know have to worry. You just follow Glow Moss on wall like marker and go inside. Okay. And then we got this guy over here who is running a store. A fantastic place for a store. I'm sure you get loads of customers down here in what's basically the sewers. There are some weapons for sale here, but honestly, they're pretty inferior to what you can get upstairs if you go to that secret shop that I showed you last time. The art books for sale here are a combination of what you can get in Colony 9 as well as upstairs in Colony 6. No big deal there, really. Uh, I'm not really sure I want to change my equipment right now, though. Plus, I got some really nice quest items. Let's just go onward. Guys, kill the noise. A Macon. I can't believe they've taken the mine, too. That means the Defense Force and Residents are... Oh no, Juju! Keep it together, Sharla. Don't start panicking now. Ryan! You said yourself, they can't have seized the entire area, right? I bet you they're holed up someplace safe. Juju is alive, and we're gonna find him. That's why we're here. You can count on us. <sighs> yeah, yes. It'll be fine. Ryan. Shulk, thank you. We've got Mechon to deal with. What else is new? Let's just head deeper into the mines and try to avoid getting detected. And Mechon headed off in this direction, so you'd think not to head that way, but there is Glow Moss over there, which will lead us to where we need to go, as that Nopong was saying. And as the name of an mine would imply, there are loads of ether crystal deposits everywhere. I wouldn't doubt if I don't know where all of them are. Like, I seriously would not be surprised if there are some that I'm not even aware of. Um, seems there's a mech on right over there. Uh, how about we just run right past it? Wow, it didn't... Nope, it's not... Uh, that's very odd. It didn't notice. Maybe just because we were in the water and it couldn't see through the water. I can't really figure out how that went down, but... Oh, we get noticed by a crabble! The Mechon can't notice us at all, though we're right in front of it, but the Crabble does, of course. Seems to be using Mechon armor as a shell like the ones in Colony 9. As soon as that Crabble noticed us, suddenly the Mechon came running. I guess maybe they hurt us somehow, even though they're vision-based enemies. But uh, we don't want to follow where we need to go. We want to go far as down south as possible. Why is that? Well, if you go down really south... Secret area, Glow Moss Lake, 1240 experience all around, just barely avoiding a level up, of course. Worst feeling ever is when you're 99% to a level up and you just can't get that last little percent. There's some item orbs for you right here, and I believe that if you change the clock to daytime... Nah, I thought more items appeared, but they don't. There is an either crystal deposit hidden back here, and this area is so pretty! I know we heard about Glow Moss and we already got our taste of that though, but... Uh, it's just so gorgeous. This is actually a really convenient skip travel location. So I definitely recommend, even if for some crazy reason you don't want to go out of your way for all that experience, which you have to be absolutely crazy to not want to do that, you still want to go to this area because it's a very, very convenient place to skip travel to for a plenty of reasons down the line. You know, we're into Test Pit 2, and just look at the map. Look how complicated of a network 
all of these caves are. Like, this is a cave-like area, but it's not linear at all. It's, heck, it's less linear than Tefer Cave was, and that's already saying quite a bit. It's just, it's really nice to see things like that. And pff, did you hear Ryan when he jumped there? Aliou. <laughs> There's another one of Ryan's quotes that is not Ryan time popping up. <laughs> but seriously, just how much, just how complex this whole area is, just how many different networks of caves there are for you to go through. Like I said, I wouldn't doubt if there's secrets that even after having played this game three times all the way through, I'm still not aware of. I mean, I know that there is a map, though, but that doesn't mean that you've seen every inch of it, even if there is that telling you where to go. I mean, the map does fill itself in pretty forgivingly whenever you're just near areas, so... I think those are all the either Crystal Deposits in that area. We're in Test Pit 3. Uh, if I could get that level up, that'd be really nice right about now. I'm very, very close. Well, actually, we're even closer to where we need to be. An ether rifle. Gado! Shala White! Gado! I know that voice. Medic, is that you? Atharon! That's our cue, right? Oh, yeah. <sighs> Yeah. Uh, okay, hit me while the party window is popping up, why don't you? That I didn't have any control over, thanks. I'd like to switch over to Shulk so that we can mash up some mech on with the Monado. Lots of M's all around. We both got level ups. Charlotte just barely didn't get one, but let's do this. So, starting this off, you might recall that we heard about Atharon earlier. She mentioned that he was the Defense Force Colonel of Colony 6. He might not have a square tash, and he may not look like Waluigi with pink hair dye, but we gotta help him out. Very oddly, he is nowhere to be seen during this battle, even though he's meant to be fighting alongside us, but... Oh well. Destroy these mech on, we inflict break on all but one of them right there. Ryan got a topple on that one. Uh, I think he's got it pretty well, though, so I think I'll just try to take care of this one. Let's get into side attack. And if I could do backslash, that'd be really nice, but it's just barely not charged enough. Oh well. Whoa! Who needs backslash when Ryan does a whopping 3,500 damage with an enchanted sword drive? And speaking of Ryan doing really well, you might have noticed that he was restoring 20 health repeatedly there. That was the Arts Heal gem at work. It activates every time you hit an enemy, not every time you use an art, so Warswing was able to restore much more health than he would have gotten otherwise. That's one of the reasons why I gave it to him. Let's take that out. We only have Aerial Mech on left, and with Charlotte's Thunderbolt, that shouldn't be any problem at all. Let's see if we can get into Topple. You know what? Screw it. Let's just do a chain attack. Uh, yeah, I backslash. I think that'll just take it out. Only got one left. What do I want? Like there's any question at all. Let's just finish it off with a times two sword drive. And Charlotte's no longer feeling left out. She got that same level up. Medic, why are you here? Sir, isn't Gatto with you? Uh, uh. We have much to discuss. You'd better come with me. Sir. So, Juju has been taken by the bronze-faced one. Sir, what about Gado? Gado is gone. Gone? What do you mean, gone? Gado and I planned a surprise attack to set everyone free. But we failed, miserably. When I woke, Gado was nowhere to be seen. Only his rifle remained. But he is alive, I can feel it. We may not be joined by blood, but he's like a son to me. I'd know if he were dead. Oh. Some of the people in Colony 9 got eaten. Ryan! Sorry. 
I forgot I said that. They don't kill Homs right away. If that bronze-faced one took him, we still have some time left. Are you sure? Boy, that blade was once Dunban's. I'm not sure why you have it. But we're going to need its full power. You can count on me. We're heading for the central pit. It's where they take all the homes they kidnap. If Juju's alive, that's where he'll be. Gather your things, we're moving out. You say something, Shulk? No, no. It's nothing. Forget it. <laughs> <laughs> 